This is the CW News at 6.30. First tonight on the CW News at 6.30, police want to know who made their way into a home in the museum district and robbed two men at gunpoint. It happened just before one this morning in an area where we rarely hear a violent crime. I spent the day speaking with neighbors there, and tonight even the Neighborhood Association is speaking out. It's not the kind of news neighbors here are used to hearing. You don't see very many crimes at all in the museum district. It's why Museum District Association President Zoanne Green is reacting to what police say happened just blocks away overnight. It was just before 1 Monday morning here on the 2800 block of West Grace. Officers say several armed men made their way into a home, making off with guns, cash, and electronics belonging to two men inside. The victims told police they don't know the robbers. I've had stuff stolen out of the backyard, um, out of my car. Within the past couple of weeks, Tim Shaka has been the victim of crime, but nothing as serious as this. Got good neighbors here, good neighbors over here, and they're all pretty quiet. It's why the neighborhood is uniting, as it always does, whenever crime hits close to home. We're always telling our residents to be aware, look around, leave your front and back porch lights burning um, from dusk to dawn every day. I think the criminals are going to go where they may feel like they have um, more opportunities to commit their crime without consequence. And uh, we don't send that message to the museum district. And though Shaka lives on the same block as this morning's home invasion and robbery, he's concerned but not worried. Do you feel safe? Oh, uh, most of the time I do, yes. But I know how to take care of myself, so. Well, although the victims told police they do not know the suspects, investigators cannot confirm for us just yet whether this incident is random or targeted. Just into our newsroom, Richmond police make an arrest in a weekend murder. 20-year-old Malcolm Bailey is charged with conspiracy to commit murder and the death of 23-year-old Tremaine Thompson. Officers found Thomas or Thompson suffering from gunshot wounds early Saturday morning in the 2000 block of 2nd Avenue. He later died at the hospital. There is new information in a death investigation now being classified a domestic-related homicide. 43-year-old Andre Taylor is charged with second-degree murder in the death of Virginia Thomas. Officers found her with a serious head injury late Friday night in the backyard of a home on North 24th Street. Shortly later, she was pronounced dead at the scene. Well, we've just confirmed a Henrico County school bus was involved in a minor accident around 2.30 this afternoon. We're told the accident involving a Jeep and a school bus happened here near Creighton and North Laburnum. There were absolutely no injuries. The area was briefly shut down to traffic, but it is back open now. We're learning new details about who could possibly lead Richmond's public schools. We now know the names of the three finalists for the superintendent's job. Our Laura Geller is at City Hall with a closer look at the candidates and how you can have an input on who's selected. CW News. Thank you, Laura. And if you are interested in attending that public meeting she just mentioned, here's what you need to know. It will take place Wednesday at Albert Hill Middle School on Patterson Avenue. The public is invited to attend from 6 p.m. until 9.30 p.m. Well, it is a budget with no new taxes, and it could be Governor McDonald's last chance to shape Virginia's future. The outgoing governor wants to spend $96 billion in a blueprint that covers a two-year period. But Governor-elect Terry McAuliffe could come in and make major changes. So Mike Valerio spent the day at the Capitol, and he has all of the details for us. CW News. And we've been in touch with the McAuliffe transition team. They haven't named any specific changes just yet, but trust the CW team to stay on top of any changes as the General Assembly gets underway in just a few days. Well, the recount in Virginia's cliffhanging race for attorney general gets a head start in three localities. Democrat Mark Herring leads Republican Mark Obenshane by just 165 votes. Fairfax County, Alexandria, and Chesapeake all began their recount today. The rest of the state will join in tomorrow and Wednesday. Challenged ballots will come to a recount court in Richmond on Thursday, and we should know the results by the end of the week. This is CW Richmond First Warning Weather. So, Brent, a little cool the next few days and then really getting warm this weekend. Ross, you can't tell me it's going to warm up any faster than you did, so thanks so much. 
Don't go anywhere, guys. Coming up, we all know how holiday travel can be so stressful, but the key to easing all of that stress could be right at your fingertips. Still ahead, what you can do to make sure your travel plans go A-OK. -okay. Plus, holiday shoppers, mark your calendars. We've got news on free shipping deals. How to find out if your favorite store is participating when we come back. Mr.